So uh, you are talking to a mother, uh, Edwina, and his son name is Jack, who is a seven year old child and uh, having condition called hereditary spherocytosis. Uh, she was advised two weeks ago by the surgeon, uh, pediatric surgeon, that uh, Jack would benefit of the splenectomy. But you came, uh, like the mother, Edwina, she came to the clinic to discuss uh, with the pediatrician, like she was very worried about uh, this condition as well as the operation. So she has okay. some concern about it. I'll address her concern and uh, uh, talk to her regarding this uh, uh, procedure as well as Jack's diagnosis. Okay, so now, and the boy is Jack? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Start. Oh, okay. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. I'm Dr. Heba, one of the children doctor here in the hospital. Nice to meet you today. Yeah, nice to meet you too, doctor. Yeah. Uh, I believe I'm talking to uh, Jack's mother. Yes, you are right, doctor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mom, I'm here today to discuss with you uh, your concern regarding Jack's condition. But uh, before we start, uh, do you want anyone to join us? Uh, no, doctor. My husband went to office. Uh, I am alone today to discuss with you. Okay, okay, good. Okay, Mom, uh, what is your, what's your update regarding just condition? Uh, doctor, two weeks ago, the surgeon he told me that he needs uh, this surgery. Uh, and they were talking about removal of the spleen. You know, I am okay. really worried. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what will happen after this surgery and why they are, nobody told me why they are removing the spleen. You know, the problem is in the blood. It's not in the spleen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really appreciate your concern. And I'm here today to make things clear, okay? Uh, just, uh, you know that um, uh, Jack have a condition called spherocytosis. Uh, you know what is spherocytosis? No, doctor. Okay. It, it's abnormal shape of uh, uh, the blood cells. Okay, you know that uh, uh, we have uh, yeah. uh, the they blood. Told me yeah. that something uh, wrong with the blood cell. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is abnormal shape of the blood cells. Uh, makes uh, the blood cells really fragile and uh, so easily breaks uh, while it's uh, going through uh, the blood tubes. Is it clear so far? Yes. Yeah, that's why Jack every now and then have this uh, uh, breakage of uh, the blood cells and he needs to take uh, blood every now and then. Is it clear? No, but we are not giving him uh, very regularly, but hardly once in a year or once in a eight month like that. Yeah, yeah, I really appreciate your concern. It, uh, I'm, uh, it means that uh, he doesn't need a lot to, to take a blood, okay? But uh, this, uh, 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 this abnormal uh, shaped uh, blood cells, it's going through his body, okay? And at any time, it's liable to be breaked. And uh, it doesn't mean that he doesn't need uh, too much uh, blood transfusion now. He will, go, uh, he will complete his life like that. Is it clear? I didn't get you, doctor. I mean that uh, he may he may not need uh, more frequent blood transfusion now, but uh, yes, at doctor. any time. That is no, that is better instead of going such a big operation. Yeah, the operation we just uh, need the operation cause uh, to decrease his needs uh, or even to just 
just uh, resolve with this problem and uh, he doesn't need any more blood transfusion. You know that uh, blood transfusion have hazards, okay? There is a drawback from blood transfusion and the frequent blood transfusion in his, uh, in his early life isn't good for him. Is it clear so far? Yes, doctor, but uh, the problem is in the blood cell. You can uh, treat, uh, you know, this like uh, unhealthy blood cells. Why to uh, remove the whole spleen? I also heard that after removing the spleen, he can get infection. And uh, even this operation also sometimes cause bleeding. And yeah. he, he has to take medicine for the longer duration after the operation that's why i i want to rethink and i want to take your opinion like you fix the blood cell instead of taking uh, uh, the whole body organ yeah yeah i really appreciate your information and um, i know your concern uh, but you know mom that uh, the spleen okay is it um, like um, uh, the filter of our uh, body, it's filters waste and uh, the all the bloods uh, and the abnormal blood uh, uh, blood cells from the body. Okay, so every time the spleen, this this organ just the filters this uh, break the cells, it uh, it be affected. Okay, so we make burden on his body. Is it clear so far? Okay, so you mean that the burden of filtering uh, yeah. is not good and surgery and removal uh, after, I mean, the removal of the spleen is better than the having spleen itself. Yeah, and I will tell you also, uh, I know that you are thinking about the medicine for just to make this uh, uh, blood cells uh, more healthy and uh, back it to normal shape, but I'm afraid there is no no medicine for that. Okay. I'm afraid uh, to tell you that. Have three minutes uh, remaining. So, uh, so doctor, um, uh, can, uh, is there anything like uh, because of this condition? Is like all the bloods get uh, uh, like abnormal, or is that like some portion of the blood still healthy? No, uh, you know that uh, that uh, the blood the blood become um, the shape of uh, the the blood cells will be the same, okay? But uh, the effect of this on the body it will be less. So if it's uh, uh, if you will remove the spleen, who break the blood cells, these abnormal blood cells, okay? We will just uh, get rid of. It of this uh, filtering, okay? So the blood cells were going out, uh, going through the blood tubes without breakage. So his need to be transfused every now and then, we will be deleted. Is that clear so far? Okay, okay. So you mean to say that after, yeah, once you remove spleen, there will be the, no more need of the transfusion, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. That's it. And also, don't worry about uh, catching bug. We will cover him with uh, with giving before we remove uh, the spleen. We will give him uh, um, his jabs that uh, protect him from any bug. Okay. Also, we will need some medicine to just uh, as a prophylactic, just uh, protect him from catching any bug later on in his life. For how, how long a duration uh, he has to take this medicine? Yeah, uh, until he reaches uh, uh, 15 years. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. And uh, for the jobs, we will give him uh, the jobs before we remove uh, the spleen. Is that clear? Okay, okay, doctor, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So I know that it's a difficult time for you and we are here at any time. If you need any advice, uh, any more information, just uh, 
back to us and uh, we will just make things clear okay 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 doctor okay just please now i will go through what we've discussed today we just um uh, i we just discussed that uh, jack's condition is spherocytosis and what it means by spherocytosis um, and why he needs every now and then blood, uh, blood transfusion and why the doctor or the consultant think about uh, splenectomy or remove the spleen okay and how we cover him after a remo before removal of the spleen and after that is that okay yes 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 Claire? okay and i will provide you with some leaflets about uh, um, the splenectomy and how we cover uh, your child before doing splenectomy and after that is it okay okay okay, okay. thank you mom for your coming today uh, and thank hope you the best yeah thank you thank you okay. yeah yeah Dr. Mila, so how uh did you feel i feel that uh, i told you uh, um wrong uh, information i'm not sure about really i'm not sure about uh, penicillin uh, coverage or prophylactic yeah you gave wrong information. I cannot remember actually i cannot remember yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you gave a wrong information it has to be taken a lifelong lifelong yeah penicillin is lifelong and mm. your introduction clarifying role and the closure uh, was right uh information like this penicillin you told the uh, wrong information plus some of the concern uh, i feel not addressed very clearly like you were saying uh, because of the filter it will be load on the spleen and uh, then once you remove then you know it will be okay i mean uh, that's not i was looking for i was looking for like is it like all why because of this condition why you think uh, for removal of the spleen rather than you know the fixing of the blood or uh, this was like as a layman question the problem is in the membrane what's the problem is there is a, a protein called spectrin and that uh, that is a deficiency of that protein and because of that the shape you have to like uh, explain me the normal shape is like uh, oblong not clearly circle but in this ferrocytosis it becomes very round and once it becomes round when they pass through the tube it will get damaged early the normal span is let's say 90 to 120 days in this condition it will damage in 30 days so once it get damaged there are a couple of problems one is the jaundice they they release the substance chemical called bilirubin which produces the jaundice yellow coloration of the eye as well as it can cause sometime uh, the release of salt which causes the stone in the liver and the gallbladder so uh, by removing this of course after removing this there are some complication which like lifelong and antibiotic and all but the reason here is uh, if you don't remove then the, that size of the spleen will keep on increasing which can affect his day-to-day -day activity plus the low level of hemoglobin which is necessary very importantly to release the oxygen at the all body tissue level that also will be compromised so they there will be you know tiredness fatigability all anemic symptoms will be there so that is why uh, it is important to remove uh, this uh, organ and the age also i give you seven year if it is early still you have to consider for weight if let's say four year or five year you will not four go years. for mm -hmm. uh, after four years it's okay no 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 they say you have to wait up to uh, five to six years till he receives all the pneumococcal and all vaccines all against the capsule the pneumococcal vaccine given at three years but the nhs leaflet they say it should be avoided until the six year and i six think years? Yes. yeah 
Yeah, but the point here is that we remove we remove the spleen because it's uh, the cause of breakage of these blood cells, not for mechanical cause. We remove the spleen not for the to avoid splenectomy, uh, splenomegaly, or right that because am I right? Yeah, but mechanical cause happens because of the breakdown. The breakdown will cause the enlargement of the spleen. No, because of hemolysis is going on there. And that is the reason yeah. why the spleen is getting enlarged. So, so uh, if I remove if I remove the spleen, so this breakdown doesn't happen again. So the right. the shape of the blood cells will be the same, but uh, there is no breakage, isn't yes. it? Yeah, yeah there will be no breakage. Here there are three issues. Main thing is first like prevention of breakage of the RBC. Breakage of the RBC. Secondly, yeah. secondly, recurrent blood transfusion can expose child to multiple infections and blood-borne infections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I mentioned that. I, and thirdly, I like that. if the spleen keeps on increasing, it may get uh, child may get trauma and the, that may rupture and uh, can cause life-threatening complication. All three yes, we have to that, explain. Yeah, the life-threatening complication is too much. So, uh, see, the hereditary spherocytosis. The blood transfusion frequency is not like thalassemia. Yeah, but like we can, we have to say like uh, today he may not require uh, transfusion frequently, but once the spleen size increase, the uh, frequency of breakage or the uh, turnover of the RBC becomes faster, and child may require more frequent blood mm. because hypersplenism can cause the more breakage, and child may require blood a little more frequently than the before. Is it not like that, or I may I may be wrong. I don't know about this you know, frequency of blood transmission, but like mainly blood, this uh, blood borne infection, trauma, and this prevention of breakage. What else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the main concern. Even the gallstone and other things also. Yeah, gallstone and growth. Because you know, uh, yeah, if I am just still the mother. There is gold stones and blah, 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 blah. I will just uh, waste time a lot. I didn't mention to her the main task because suppose here to, to tell me, yeah, I have, I know what is spherocytosis. So I have to go directly to what is, what we, why we are needing to just remove the spleen. If it's give me time to tell her, yeah, this is a, the the breakage of these blood cells happen in the spleen, okay. So if we remove it, we will decrease the incidence of uh, or the rate of the breakage of uh, uh, this blood, this abnormal blood uh, cells, okay. Also, uh, if a spleen going, uh, growing, growing in size, it's make a problem for him. If it's give me time to just to discuss with her directly what is why, why we are needing to just remove the spleen but like that i asked her she doesn't know what is this uh, spherocytosis so i started from zero like that i don't have time yeah right yeah yeah but the point here is uh, you have to explain like even though problem is in the blood it's not in the spleen but yeah. there are uh, risk factor, and one of the risk factor is the life-threatening injury because of the huge splenomegaly. That is one, and another like jaundice and uh, gallstone. They are minor consequences. Uh, out of three, four, one you mentioned is about the blood transfusion that can cause some complication like infection. The remaining three. You did not mention, which is okay, but the spleno, huge splenomegaly, which can be devastating for the life if it gets rupture. Mm. So that you have to say. It was good otherwise. Nice. I'm sorry, I can't say. Me, no, I'm so like sorry that. for this information mistake. Yeah, apart from yeah. the, the wrong Tenure. information. Tenure. About the yeah, apart from the mm. wrong information about penicillin, otherwise it was good. Except for a yeah. little, little bit complicated explanation, but like it happens in the flow. But it was good. I feel like it was fast. Yes, yes. 
pass yes okay and it was uh, prepared and uh, so nice yeah before uh, before splenectomy you have to give uh, pneumococcal uh, have vaccine and the meningococcal right and flu vaccine uh, uh, and the flu vaccine uh, annually should be taken right yes yes yeah yeah so good in fact i like dr jay prakash case also today so i think all well good okay chalo everybody is improving decide and tell me okay everybody is improving